Oh, with Pantyhoser tried. Monochrome. Oh, she's through. And she got she five. Got her power, she got grand her slam. grand slam. And that could be the difference. But now Pantyhoser now trapped. Trying to get through. Pick up the pace of this jam. Dull and here track. comes Bomber. Yep. She's on op Bomber's on opening path, so Cleve Cleve has got everything in control That's here. Right. Through for another five. They're telling her to call it. He's waving a call. And she calls it. He could have wasted more time because she uh, yeah. the doll the, the doll jammer was on opening pass. That's right. So, so she could have ran the clock before calling that, but That's right. You never know. It's not going to matter. I think we have a little bit of an upset on our hands here. Well, they're not using a timeout unless they use them all up. And that's the boat right there. That is the boat. The Derby debutantes with the big victory. We're still waiting for official con con confirmation. I believe this will be the Derby debutantes' first ever Beast of the East victory. Ever. I think you are correct, sir. And this would be a disappointing uh, result for the Dolls, who made it all the way to the quarterfinals last year. It says it says 38-29. 38-29. The debutantes. And it's official. It's over. Now, there's going to be some controversy here because, uh, of course, Betty Bomber got called for a penalty, but still stopped that jam. So it's going to be a controversial decision. But nonetheless, the debutantes. Huge power jam at the end. That is crazy but that, great finish great finish very exciting very exciting that's boat. why you just have to be here that's right as as good as these boat casts are it's nothing like the real thing no kidding no kidding okay so the gtars are through to fight another bout the greater toronto roller girls the dolls are done we'll be back shortly with the vicious dishes and les fidoa see you in a bit <laughs>